What's happening everybody? I'm in the barn getting ready to go fishing. But first I gotta load all this junk. You know? <sighs> Thank goodness for my work is over here. I need to do a lot of organizing. I'm slowly getting the barn and the controls of wreck when we bought the house. The pools are wrecked, the yard, the trees were touching the ground. So I'm trying to get everything like I need it, you know? A lot of cleaning had to be done. There was inches and inches of uh, dirt all over this barn. Looks like I have a pretty good sized parking lot, the place I want to try out, so might as well try the trailer. This is what I want to take today. Each a little box like this, that's it. Whatever we catch with it is what we catch with it. Well, good morning, people. It's like five. Uh, we're off to a good start. One hand, slide it into the old Elamante. No problem. Ah, oh, time to get up. <laughs> Shut that off. Look at the logo. Pick me up. Just me this morning. No Teresa. So I'm just gonna slide this sucker in here, go down the road and launch her. There we go. I thought I'd try this Gulf Breeze National Seashore thing. I'm trying to figure this out in the dark is not the best way to do this. Went to the Gulf Breeze National Seashore Park thing and it had a gate. I was afraid of that. I got two backup plans. Pack it in, pack it out. All right, folks, a little sketchy. Never drug through the woods here. I don't know how far a drag we got, but. been wanting to find some new grass flats around Pensacola and I think I may have found one. This is not a hard drag at all. This is a beautiful flat. I can see from the aerial map Google. This hurricane just has one strap on that side. That's it. Tackle. We'll make that loose so it's easy to get at. And, uh, waterproof bag. Some food and drink. Let's get on it. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. I should have food. Come on, Werner. What did the owner of Native Watercraft give me this old Werner? Super like carbon and fiberglass. Love it. Love it. Well, thanks, Woody. Shout out to Woody from Native. I start chunking. I see something blowing up on bait already. There's just something about first light. You cannot beat it. Alright, this is a big fish, people. This is a big fish. Uh oh, I might be going for a sleigh ride. Man, I wish I'd have got that take. That was a huge explosion on my skitter walk. Oh man, that's awesome. Daybreak, I think it's a red. You hit it, missed it, hit it, missed it. That kind of a sign of red is they feed them. Their mouth's on the bottom, so they have to come down on it. Bad to the bone. We got 15 pound spider wire here. Hurricane's doing the trick. Hurricane! He's still a ways out. God, it's gotta be a red. Gotta be a red. Looks like a red. It's a nice red. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a red. <laughs> That's a pea color red, man. This is my first slot red. Pensacola, Florida. Check 
that out, people. That just happened. There we go. Close quarters. I'm in close quarters, man. It's a tad of a three ring circus, but I'll take that every day. Boy, he's a beautiful bronze color. Look at that, people. Yeah! <laughs> what? White bone white skitter walk does it again. What a morning already, huh? I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing, but I saw this on Google Maps. Look at Google Maps, scout some spots, and just take some chances, and you'll find some new areas and give them a name and call it done. Y'all ever throw top water for, for reds? If you do, comment below. Let me know what you throw. I throw a lot of skitter walks and spook juniors. I'm going to measure them on my rod so I can measure them when I get home. Tip of my rod to the, like the black line right there. So we'll see how long that is. All right, guy. Good job. He's ready. He's jerking. And he's gone. Sometimes you got to give him a little encouragement. Fish grip in the lip. <laughs> Battle the bone. Let's do it again. Beautiful sunrise coming up. Having had such an amazing topwater bite right by the boat launch, I was kind of pumped about this spot. And I had no idea what the day would bring, but I was excited. Just got smacked a few times right here. I picked up grass now. I need to get my single hooks out here. There's a lot of grass on this flat, which is why I came. You see that? They're not going to touch it. So I'm going to go and change this skitter walk, this bone white skitter walk. I noticed I got a bent hook. Not good, right? These paper clip uh, swivels I love because look, you just do comes right off. I get these from Tackle Direct. That's the only place I've ever seen them. And it looks like a paper clip is stainless steel. Yeah. There you go. But uh, we'll see. Bone white's good color. That's my Cajun rod holder, my toes. Been doing that for years, ever since I've had Power Yak. With a little more stability in a, in a skinny paddle yak, you can put your feet out and dangle them in the water like that, and it, and it gives you a little bit more of a rocker, a little bit more pushback. Probably put arm floaties on your feet. <laughs> that stabilizer, that's a good idea. I'm crazy, I might be trying that. I find it easy just to go ahead and put it on the, the nose of the spoon as soon as you get it. And you want to bend this weed guard out just to where it's just past the point. There you go. I was just about to tell y'all something and I saw a nice blow up. And of course, my lure's tangled. That's how that works every time. Pretty much throwing top water and silver spoon the whole morning. I gotta come back to this flat again and when I come back, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm gonna have some weedless flukes for sure. And I'm gonna have some top water plugs that don't have treble hooks. Scaling it down, people. Keeping it simple. I'm in two feet of water and I see a giant wake coming right at me. We got it. Holy smokes. Giant. Oh my gosh. Giant school of Jackerville. Giant Jackerville. Holy smokes. They were coming at me as I was talking to y'all. Holy smokes. They're huge. It looked like wind. It looked like wind. It's monster jacks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, epic, totally epic, people. Oh no. This is gonna be a fight. I'm gonna put my feet down for drag. Oh my gosh. Ah, he's going back with the school. I wish I'd have got him on my bigger rod. I really do. I don't have an anchor. And he's gonna tow me. Man, that's a big fish. I should have grabbed my other rod and threw the spoon at him. I got 20 pound braid on this rod. I got the McCain series kayak rod here. It's about seven foot. Battle of the wheels, I can tell you that right now. Holy smokes. These are monsters. It looked like the wind had changed direction and the wind was blowing at me. And there was big ripples coming. Oh my gosh. Don't want to get towed out into the bay. Man. Those are massive jacks. I can see their backs coming out there. I mean, these are like 20, 30 pounders. I mean, these are huge. I 
got a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. As long as it's just a plug in his mouth, we'll be okay. Oh man, I'm going for a sleigh ride, folks. I don't have a rudder. Skinny little boat and a big old fish. Holy smokes. Man, I wish I had those floaties on my feet now I was talking about. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, I'm gonna stick my feet in the water and drag them. Trying to remain tough and focused, he's towing me further and further out into the bay. He's turning back into the wind. Pulling me away from the bank, going out into the bay, which I don't want. We're gonna land this fish, people. We're gonna land this fish. Definitely going for a sleigh ride. I oh, wish he would turn back to the bank because it's getting ripply out here. Thank goodness I have a PFD on. I don't have any color yet. I saw him at least. Oh god, I got my fish grip with me. Man, it's a monster. Holy smokes, people. Holy smokes. Is he gonna tire out? The big advantage with the kayak is he's gotta pull my weight and the kayak, so it's a big drag system. Got a boat coming. Got to be honest, I was kind of spooked at this point. I was hoping that boat would come my way and just watch me, make sure I was okay, because that sucker was pulling me straight out into the bay. I don't want to be out in the middle of the bay. It's just that Jack Carmel wants to be out in the middle of the bay, not me. Normally I wouldn't mind, but there's a deep canal that cuts through this bay, and there's a lot of shipping traffic and boats. I'll tell you what, I got to really gear up from Florida. This is a much different ball game. There he is. There he is. This is a much different ball game. You gotta have some bigger rods with you on these flats. I used to never see nothing but little specks and little reds on the flats, but here I've seen Spanish mackerel and giant jacks already this morning. Ah. Problem is he towed me way out in the bay. Be careful right here. Oh, this is sketchy in this little boat. He's tired now. He's gonna get a fish grip and a lip, and it's gonna be over it. I just have to watch when I, he's so big that this little boat's skinny. I can't put too much weight to one side. I wish he would swim toward the freaking beach. Woo! Man, that's a fish. On the flats on my spec rod, my McCain. I can tail him. Uh, woo! Fish gripping a lip! <laughs> uh, I'm trying you watch the 30 miles out of the monster jacker fell on the flats. What? <laughs> oh my god. Getting back to the beach. I get too far out in the bay with the boat traffic. Woo! I'm gonna get over here to the safety zone. Alright, let's get out on the beach. Yeah, baby! <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's what I'm talking about! Thanks a lot for watching 30 Miles Out, guys. Let's take this kayak back to the truck. What a morning. I'm not going to forget this fish for a while. Jeez. Now let's get her back in the water. All right, I got a release on that guy. Wind of the school. Can't tell if this is wind of the school. Yeah, that's smart. After all that, go looking for another big battle. Brilliant. Been an epic morning here on the flats of Pensacola. Guess it's time to take it back to the house. Thanks a lot for joining me today, guys. Have you ever caught a Jack Cravel? I suppose I fought him about 30 minutes. If you've ever fought a Jack Cravel, comment below. Tell me how long and how big. Well, as you can tell, I'm dragging. I'm tired. It's time to head on back. But I'll be back again. Head back home. See, now I'm more out from that fight with that Jack, and I have the wind push me home. If I'd have floated with the wind all morning and then fought that fish, I'd be paddling against the wind to get back, so. That drift back to the launch spot really took it easy on me. 
I am exhausted at this point. It's only 7.30 in the morning and I'm wiped out. But I know where the spot is. I'm going to be coming back and next time I'll be prepared. Well, I've enjoyed it, people. I'm gonna go home and jump in the pool. Whew. Maybe take a nap. See y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Well, thanks for going with me. I wasn't alone. Yeah.